Hello, this is David with Haggerty in our DIY series. I'm in the middle of putting up gear installing a 12 bolt uh, on our SS396 car and uh, I ran into a small snag with the seal. Now if you want to see that full install, that video will be right up here. But we wanted to highlight a little issue here we ran into directly with the seal. And in 69 there's actually two seals and they carried it on for X amount of years. But there was two seals, one for the truck and one for the car. And the snout on the housing is slightly different, and that's why there was two different seals in the inset where the sealing surface is at. Now, what's happened is the car seal, for whatever reason, has been discontinued, and the only one available now is the truck seal. Typically speaking, your pinion bearing here should be free-floating by about say at least a quarter inch or eighth inch, somewhere in that ballpark. And what I caught was this doesn't have any when the seal is installed fully like it's supposed to be where this surface hits the surface of the housing. So to come over here on the workbench, I've done a little homework. I've come up with these three different seals that are of three different manufacturers. This one happened to be in our initial kit and these are uh, two other aftermarket, a Timken and a uh, S SKF. But the point is, is all three of these are slightly different but none of them will actually function the way they're supposed to if fully installed. And you can see a good witness of that. So here's your sealing surface on the yoke and it has this chamfer that's roughly an eighth of an inch. If I put this on here, I'll flip this over so you can see it. That sealing surface, the ridge, and I'll pull it back, the ridge it actually seals is not on the large diameter of the yoke. It's still riding on the chamfered edge. So yes, it'll go on there. It has a marginal seal relative to the dust side of things, but not on the grease seal side. So this will install. Everything will go together like I showed you over in the axle, but this is still going to leak. Now, what I found is you can do three different things. You can install this and not install it fully so you would leave a gap. Now in my opinion that leaves for a lot of margin of error because it's easy to have it um, rocked inside the housing slightly. Second area is you could take a piece of welding rod. This happens to be a little small but the point is the same. Use a you know say an eighth inch welding rod bend it up and slip it over the top of this. Now you have a firm stop and you'll have a gap when you're done. And then the third option, which I think is probably the best option, is actually a solid ring. Um, I happen to machine this out of a piece of um, a steel I had laying around and luckily I have access to a lathe. And this will go in here then and act as a physical stop. That'll give me an eighth inch of a gap and if you can see here, now my eighth inch forces that ceiling ring up onto the ceiling surface. I'm sure somebody's out there thinking, boy, that sure is a hack way to install that. And, and you know, that's probably right. But at the same token, it is the only way to do it because there are no seals available that, that brings this ceiling surface toward the yoke further. They're all inset like this. So the only way to do it is to short install it. Um, if you have an aftermarket housing, for instance, like a Mosier or a Strange, they've actually increased the length on that casting and it gets away with that. So it's only on the stock 12 bolt uh, housings from GM that are short, that needed that longer, call it longer seal this way to, to, to install these correctly and make a good seal. So if you have a stock housing, you're subject to only having access to these because this is what's available. Then you'll have to short install it by an eighth inch and you can use space or you can use, you know, a couple different ways to use a spacer. Um, and that'll create a good seal and you won't have any leak problems. All right, hopefully that is a good explanation and it helps somebody out there because Quite frankly, there's a lot of 12 bolts out there and I bet you a lot of them are leaking if they're not um, installed correctly. Again, hopefully this was helpful. Click the link, share it, and uh, you can be the hero at the next car show when you see that drippy 12 bolt.
Now it actually has some float like it should. 